Again, we start off in the ERP system. This time, we must create a sales order. We do this by following the standard menu, logistics, sales and distribution, sales, order, create. We will create a copy of an existing sales order. Here we can see the sold to and the ship to parties, our material and the order quantity. We save the sales order. Our sales order number is shown at the bottom of the screen and the outbound delivery has been created as well. Let's check our ERP outbound delivery. We do this by following the menu path logistics, logistics execution, outbound process, goods issue for outbound delivery, outbound delivery, display. Our outbound delivery number is copied through from the previous transaction. If we check the header details, we can see that the delivery has already been distributed to our WMS system. So now let's check EWM at our outbound delivery. The ERP outbound delivery is received in EWM as an outbound delivery request. We can view this request by using the menu path Extended Warehouse Management, Delivery Processing, Outbound Delivery, Maintain Outbound Delivery Request. We enter our ERP delivery number. This request notifies a warehouse that a sales order is due out for delivery. This request must be converted into an outbound delivery order. If we check the status of the outbound delivery request, we can see that the delivery has been created by the system. We can look at the outbound delivery order by clicking on the button. We can see that it is given a unique reference within the EWM system. In the demo, our document number is 7722. We can see the door where we will load the vehicle and we can see that the delivery has not yet been started. The next step is to create the pick tasks for the order. We do this by using the follow on functions warehouse task. Here we can see the open quantity that needs to be picked. We can create the task Here we're given our task number and our warehouse order number. So let's now go to the warehouse activity monitor to check the status of our outbound delivery order. To access the warehouse activity monitor, we follow the menu path Extended Warehouse Management, Monitoring, Warehouse Management Monitor. This time we'll use the outbound node. And we enter our outbound delivery order from EWM. Here we can see our pick task. So let's go to the RF and execute the pick. We follow the menu path, extended warehouse management, execution, log on to the RF environment to access the RF application. Here we can see our resource again. We then follow the RF menu, 04 outbound process, 01 picking, 04 picking by warehouse order. We enter the warehouse order for the pick. We then create a pick handling unit. We confirm the source bin. And confirm the pick quantity. We then confirm the packing work center. Our pick handling unit has now arrived at the packing work center for outbound. 
let's go back to the warehouse monitor to check our status. Back at the warehouse activity monitor, if we refresh the warehouse task list, we can see that our pick has now been confirmed. The next step is to confirm the pick handling unit at the work centre. To do this, we need to find our pick handling unit number. Here it is, 2865. Now we need to go back to the RF application. This time on the RF application, we will follow the menu 04 outbound process, 02 packing, 08 HU maintenance. We enter the packing work centre, and then we then enter the pick handling unit. We close the handling unit to say that the packing is complete. At this point, the next task in the process oriented storage control would have been created in the background. So let's go back to the warehouse activity monitor. Back at the monitor, we can see that a new task has been created. The source bin is a packing work center and the destination bin is the staging area for the outbound process. So let's go back to the RF once more to confirm this move to the staging area. This time on the RF we will use the O2 manual selection, selection by handling unit and enter our pick handling unit and confirm the staging area where we're moving the handling unit to. The handling unit has now been moved to the staging area. Let's once more go back to the warehouse monitor to check the status of our delivery. Back at the monitor, let's refresh the warehouse task list once more. Here we can see that a new task has been created and our move from the work centre to the staging area has been confirmed. The final task in the process is to load the pick handling unit onto the vehicle. Let's go back to the RF once more. This time on the RF, we will follow the 04 outbound process menu, 03 loading, 05 loading by handling unit. We enter our pick handling unit number, our pick handling unit has now been loaded successfully onto the vehicle. Let's check back at the monitor again. Back at the monitor, if we refresh the warehouse task list again, we can see that all tasks associated to the delivery have now got a status of C, which is fully confirmed. If we refresh the header details, we can see that the number of HUs on the delivery is now one. The picking is complete, the loading is complete, the goods issue is not yet started. So let's now go into the outbound delivery order and post the goods issue. We can get to the outbound delivery order by selecting the document number on the monitor. Once more we can see how our statuses are complete the final thing to do now is to post the goods issue. At this point the goods are issued out of our EWM warehouse and the message is communicated back to the ERP system via the outbound delivery 3630 which you can see has been created at the bottom of the screen. So now let's go back to ERP. To view the outbound delivery in ERP, we follow the menu Logistics, Logistics Execution, Outbound Process, Goods Issue for Outbound Delivery, Outbound Delivery, Display. Here we can see our ERP outbound delivery number. If we select the Document Flow button, we can see that the delivery has been updated by the EWM system. Here is our handling unit and here is our goods issue material document. 
This means that the goods are now on our way to our customer. This is the end of the outbound process demonstration. I hope you have enjoyed it. So to summarise, EWM is designed to help you maximise the space utilisation of your warehouse, maximise resource utilisation to best meet your operational requirements. EWM gives you efficient and reactive labour management tools, standard KPIs and measurement tools to aid you in productivity gains, RFID enablement as standard, scalability and flexibility the ability to handle a variety of supply chain business processes, third party stock management and visibility, a strategic fit with your own technologies both SAP and non-SAP. If you are interested to know more or if you'd like to get to know the EWM solution better in order to assess potential improvements by using the solution then we are more than happy to discuss arranging a one day workshop around the topic. We also carry out feasibility studies where we will complete a fit gap analysis based on our standard system and we will also help you to do a business case scenario including a cost benefit analysis in order to determine the right solution for your business and to aid in supporting the management's decision making process. Now we have reached the end of this webinar. If you would like to get in contact with us we are happy to serve you. Your contact for the UK is my colleague Roger, for the Americas it's Roberto and for the rest of Europe it's Christian. You can also email us on scm at westernacker.com. At this point I would like to say thank you very much for participating and I hope that I will see you again in one of our further webinar series we provide. All the best and see you soon.